Dear colleagues, we can uh, start our meeting, but before starting the meeting, I have to ask to all the colleagues to uh, have one minute of silence for what uh, today, this morning, uh, in uh, Zaventem. Thank you very much. Item nine in our agenda it is uh, Chairman's announcement concerning coordinator's recommendation on the 21st of March. The coordinator's recommendation has been circulated electronically. If there are no objections, they can be deemed approved. And now we can start with the vote. Before starting, I have to uh, verify on uh, the report of Mr. Mikolasic. We have a request of a roll call vote on the amendment 36, 37, 38. We have to verify who is uh, in favor of the request, who is uh, against. The vote is open. Everybody have voted? No? Okay, the vote is closed. Okay, the request is rejected. Now we can start uh, the vote. Votiamo l'emendamento uh, 1. Chi è a favore? Amendment 1. In favor? Against, abstentions, carried amendment two, favour, against, abstentions, rejected, four, favour, against, abstention, carried, five, favour, against, abstentions, rejected, seven, favour, against, abstentions, check. Open. Everybody voted. Closed. Carried. Madame Sommer? I'm, I'm sorry for being late. Um, I don't have my voting card. Is it possible to vote by hand? Please. Okay, but uh, can we ask to your assistant to yes, of course, go of to course. take the card? Yes, of course. running okay. already. In the shorter <laughs> possible time. Okay. Emendamento <laughs> 9. 9. Favour. Against. Abstentions. Rejected. 10. Favour. Against. Abstentions. Carried. Compromise 1. Favour. Against. Abstentions. Carried. 15. Favour. Against. Abstentions. Carried. 13. Favour. Against. Abstentions. Carried. 14. Favour. Against. Abstentions. Carried. 16. Favour. Against. Abstentions. Let's check. Avete votato tutti? All done. So closed. Carried. 17. Favour. Against. Abstentions. Carried. Compromise 4. Favour. 
against. Stenson's carried. 24. Favour against. Stenson's carried. Compromise 9. Favour against. Stenson's carried. Now, compromise 2. Favour against. Stenson's carried. 31. Favour against. Stenson's uh, rejected. Compromise 6. Favour against. Stenson's carried. 34. Favour against. Stenson's carried. 36. Favour against. Stenson's rejected. On 37, there's an oral amendment. Any objections to Mikolas' uh, oral amendment? Ok, more than four. Quindi votiamo. Right, so voting without the oral amendment in two parts. Part 1. Favour. Against. Stensions. Carried. Part 2. Favour. Against. Stensions. Carried. Next 38. Favour. Against. Stensions. Rejected. 40. For zero. Favour. Against. Stensions carried. 41 falls. So 42. Favour. Against. Stensions carried. Compromise 5. Favour. Against. Stensions carried. 45. Favour. Against. Stensions carried. 46. Favour. Against. Stensions carried. 54. Part 1. Favour. Against. Stensions carried. 58. Favour. Against. Stensions carried. 60. 6 0. Favour. Against. Stensions carried. 61. Compatible in favour. Against. Stenson's rejected. 63. Favour. Against. Stenson's rejected. 62. Favour. Against. Stenson's carried. 64. Favour. Against. Stenson's rejected. 65. Favour. Against. Stenson's carried. Compromise 7. Favour. Against. Stensions. Carried. 70. 7 0. Favour. Against. Stensions. Rejected. 71. Favour. Against. Stensions. Carried. 72. Favour. Against. Stensions. Rejected. 74. Part 1. Favour. Against. Stensions. Carried. Compromise 8. Favour. Against. Stensions. Carried. Compromise 3. Favour. Against. Stensions. Carried. 79. Favour. Against. Stensions. Rejected. 80. 80. Favour. Against. Stensons carried. 84. Favour. Against. Stensons carried. 87. Favour. Against. Stensons rejected. 88. Favour. Against. Stensons rejected. 89. Favour. 
against. Extension is rejected. Final vote, electronic vote. Miss uh, Zoma has her card now. Super. Avete votato? All done. Vote is closed. Carried. Now we can go to the next item in our agenda, that is uh, uh, the vote on uh, the resolution on mandatory indication of a country of origin of place of provenience of certain food. E votiamo. So let's get cracking with the votes. 27. Favour, against, abstentions rejected. 28. Favour, against, abstentions rejected. 31. Favour, against, abstentions rejected. 30. Favour, against, abstentions rejected. 29. In two parts. Part 1. Favour. Against. Abstentions. Carried. Second part. Favour. Against. Abstentions. Let's check. Il voto è... Votes closed. All voted, hopefully. Carried. 32. Fever. Against. Stensions. Carried. 33. Fever. Against. Stensions. Rejected. 36. Fever. Against. Stensions. Rejected. 34. Fever. Against. Stensions. Rejected. 35. Favour. Against. Stensions. Rejected. 39. Two parts. Favour. Against. Stensions. Rejected. Part 2 of 39. Favour. Against. Stensions. Rejected. 38, two parts. Part 1, favour. Against. Stensions, rejected. Part 2, favour. Seconda parte. Part 2, false, because part 1 was rejected. 37, favour. Against. Stensions, carried. 41, 42 and 43 are identical. Favour, against, abstentions rejected. 40, favour, against, abstentions carried. 44, favour, against, abstentions rejected. 45, part 1, favour, against, Extensions. Let's check. Il voto è chiuso. Votes closed. Carried by one vote. Part two. A favour. Against. Extensions rejected. Now, forty-seven favour. Against. Extensions rejected. 46. Favour. Against. Extensions carried. 49. 
same as 50. Favour? Against? Stenson's rejected. Fifty two favour against Stenson's rejected <coughs> fifty one favour against Stenson's rejected fifty three part one a favour against let's check. Avete votato tu? All voted. Closed. Rejected. Part two, part two falls. Therefore, 54. Favour. Against. Stensions rejected. 55. Favour. Against. Stensions carried. 56. Favour? Against? Stensions rejected. 57. Favour? Against? Stensions. Let's check. Il voto è chiuso. Votes closed. Approvato. Carried. 58. Favour. Against. Stensons. Carried. 59. Favour. Against. Stensons. Carried. 61. Favour. Against. Stensons. Rejected. 60. Favour? Against? Stensions rejected. 62. Favour? Against? Stensions rejected. 65. Part 1. Favour? Against? Stensions rejected. Part 2. Favour? Against? Stensions rejected. 63. Favour? Against? Stensons carried. 64. Favour? Against? Stensons rejected. 66. Part 1. Favour? Against? Stensons carried. 66 part 2. Favour? Against. Stensons rejected. 68. Favour? Against. Stensons rejected. 69. Favour? Against. Stensons rejected. 67. Favour? Against. Stensions rejected. 70. Favour. Against. Stensions carried. Let's check. Avete votato tu? Have you all voted? Votes closed. Carried. Emendamento 71. 71. Favour? Against? Stensions carried. 72. Favour? Against? Stensions carried. 73. Favour? Against? Stensions carried. 74. Part 1. Favour? Against. Stensions carried. 74 part 2. Favour. Against. Stensions 
carried. Now we have 75, 76 and 77 which are identical. Favour against Stenson's rejected. 81. Favour against Stenson's carried. 78 says a speaker favour against Stenson's rejected. Part 2. Scusate, l'emendamento 78. 78 falls, says the, the chair, because we approve to 81. It, so we don't need to vote on 78, in fact. We won't vote on 79 either. We have to vote on number 80. But there's an oral amendment from uh, Christopher Fielner. Objection to the oral amendment? No. E allora votiamo l'emendamento. Amendment 80 as modified with the oral amendment. Favour? Against? Stenson's rejected. 83. Favour? Against? Stenson's. Let's check. Avete votato tutti? All voted. Votes closed. Carried. Eighty seven. Favour against Stenson's rejected. Eighty six. Favour against Stenson's. Let's check. Avete votato tutti? Everyone voted. Voting is closed. That's carried. We now vote on amendment 85. In favor? Against? Abstentions carried. Amendment 84. In favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. We now vote in two parts on Amendment 82. Part 1. Those in favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. The second part falls. We vote on 88. Those in favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. Amendment 89 in two parts. Part 1, those in favor? Against? Abstentions carried. Part 2, those in favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. Amendment 90 in favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. We vote on Amendment 95 in favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. Amendment 96 in favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. Amendment 93 in favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. 94 is withdrawn. Next is Amendment 91 in favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. 92 is not to be voted on. 97 in favor? Against? Abstentions? Check. Avete votato? Has everyone voted? Voting is closed. Rejected. Next is Amendment 104. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. Amendment 103. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. 
Amendment 102 in favor? Against? Abstentions carried. Amendment 114. Cartini Chirio in favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. Next, 111 in favor? Against? Abstentions check. Everyone voted now. Voting is closed. It's carried. Next, 118 in favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. We'll check it. 118. Voting is open. Has everyone voted? Voting now closed. Rejected. Next, we vote on Amendment 115 in favor. Against. Abstentions rejected. Amendment 120, those in favor? Against. Abstentions rejected. Amendment 113 in favor? Against. Abstentions. Check. Not many hands in the air. Has everyone voted? Voting is closed. Right, that's carried. Now we vote on Amendment 119. In favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. Amendment 121. In favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. We vote on Amendment 106. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Check. Avete votato tutti? Has everyone voted? Voting it closed? Carried. We now vote on Amendment 107, 116 falls, 107, those in favor, against, abstentions carried. We vote on 105, in favor, against, abstentions rejected. 117, in favor, against, Abstentions rejected. We vote on 109. In favor? Against? Abstentions carried. 108. In favor? Sorry. 108 falls because we approved uh, 74. Sorry. Next amendment, 110. In favor? Against. Abstentions rejected. 112. Those in favor? Against. Abstentions. Check. Has everyone voted? Voting is closed. Carried. We vote on amendment Two. Those in favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Amendment three in favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Four in favor? Against? Abstentions? Check. Avete votato tutti? Everyone voted? 
Voting is closed. It's rejected. We vote on Amendment 5. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Check. Has everyone voted? Voting is closed. That's approved by one vote. It's almost impossible to understand because there are splits within the groups. So we have to double check. Amendment 6 next. In favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. Amendment 7. In favor? Against? Abstentions check. Has everyone voted? Voting is closed. Rejected. Could I ask the socialists to, to use their hands? We now vote on Amendment 8. Those in favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. We vote on Amendment 9. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Amendment 10. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. Amendment 11. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. Amendment 12. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. Amendment 13. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. Amendment 14. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Amendment 18. It falls. We now vote on Amendment 17. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. Next, 16. In favor? Against? Check. Avete votato tutti? Has everyone voted? Voting is closed. Carried. We now vote on Amendment 19. 19. Those in favor? Against? Abstentions? Check. Has everyone voted? Voting is closed. Carried. We now vote on 21. Those in favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. Amendment 22, in favor. Against, abstentions, rejected. Amendment 25, in favor. Against, abstentions, carried. Amendment 23, in favor. Against, abstentions, check. Has everyone voted? Voting is closed. Rejected. We now vote on Amendment 24. In favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. We vote on Amendment 26. In favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. We vote on Amendment 1. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. We now vote on the draft motion as amended. Those in favor? 
Electronic check, of course. In favor? Voting is open. This is electronic. Has everyone voted? Voting is closed. Approved. Dear colleagues, we continue to vote also if there is another terrorist attack in the metro. Okay. We start now to vote on uh, the Zika virus outbreak. And we start with partiamo con l'emendamento. We start with amendment 17. Those in favor? Against? Abstentions? Check. Has everyone voted? Voting is closed. Carried. Amendment 18, in favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Amendment 19, in favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Amendment 20, in favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. 21, compatible. Those in favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. Amendment Devi 1, in favor. Against? Abstentions carried. Amendment 23, in favor. Against? Abstentions rejected. Amendment 25, in favor. Against? Abstentions carried. Amendment 24, in favor. Against. Abstentions. Carried. Amendment 26. In favor. Against. Abstentions. Carried. Amendment 27. In favor. Against. Abstentions. Carried. Amendment 28. In favor. Against. Abstentions. Carried. Amendment 29. In favor. Against? Abstentions carried. Amendment 30. In favor? Against? Abstentions carried. Amendment FEM 4. In favor? Against? Abstentions carried. Amendment DEVE 2. In favor? Against? Abstentions carried. Amendment 31. It falls. Amendment 32, in favor? Against? Abstentions carried. Amendment 33, in favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. Amendment 34, in favor? Against? Abstentions carried. Amendment DEVI 5, in favor? Against? Abstentions carried. Next, we vote on FEM 5, paragraph 18, new. In favor? Against? Abstentions carried. Amendment 36, in favor? 
Against? Abstentions carried. Amendment 37. In favor? Against? Abstentions carried. Amendment 38. In favor? Against? Abstentions check. Avete votato tutti? Has everyone voted? Voting is closed. Carried. Amendment 39. Those in favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. Amendment 40. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. Amendment 41. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Amendment 42. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Amendment 43. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. We now vote on Amendment 44, second part, compatible. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Amendment 45. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Devi 3. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. We now vote on Devi 4, Amendment 47, identical. Those in favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Amendment 53. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. We vote on 48. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. 49. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. Amendment 50. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Amendment 51. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Amendment 52. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Now, recitals. Amendment 1. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Amendment 2. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Amendment 3. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Check. Avete votato tutti? Il voto è chiuso. Has everyone voted? Voting is closed. Carried. Next, Amendment 4. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Amendment 5. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Amendment 6. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Fem 1. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. Fem 2. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. We now vote on Amendment 9, Part 2. The first part falls. Those in favor? Against? Abstentions? Carried. We vote on Amendment 10. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. We vote on Amendment 11. In favor? Against? Abstentions? Rejected. Amendment 12. In favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. Amendment 13. In favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. Amendment 14. In favor? Against? Abstentions carried. Amendment 15. In favor? Against? Abstentions rejected. Amendment 16. In favor? Against? Abstentions carried. Final vote, electronically. Avete votato tutti? Have you all voted? Voting is closed.
carried. The next vote will be on the objection. Uh, ah, Mrs. Delaye, sorry. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Ça concerne mon interpellation. Thank you, uh, Chair. This concerns the following vote. We cannot support these objections. It's not good enough to be for or against because the objection stipulates clearly request to the Commission not to renew the authorization but a uh, source of propos proposals. We need to have uh, the means in the long term and in the medium time for the citizen who wants healthy uh, food and also for the farmers who use these substance and who are substances and who are in trouble today. We hope to be able to work with our colleagues between now and the plenary to s work to send clear, constructive members, uh, messages to the member states. Thank you, Chairman. Okay, uh, we vote before on the motion uh, presented by several groups, and uh, on this the vote is open. Avete votato tutti? Everyone voted now. Voting is closed. That's approved. The other motion falls from the ENF. If someone wants to leave uh, the room, uh, please do it in a short time, and in one minute we start with the next point in our agenda.
Andiamo a Gerardo. Eh, oppure faccio uscire qualcosa a Valentina Alfio per la... Dear colleagues, dear colleagues, probably the best answer it is to continue to work and then I suggest to go to the next point in our agenda, that is uh, the envy delegation to Montreal, ICAO, CAIP 10, and uh, on this point, i give the floor to the chair of the delegation who was uh, uh, Madame Gerling for the presentation and then later we open the discussion. Magan Madame Gerling, the floor is yours. Thank you, Chairman. Unfortunately, I don't have my notes with me. I'm very sorry, but because of uh, this morning, I came straight here. Uh, my assistant's just trying to get them, so I'm going to just have to go off the top of my head. Um, everybody's had the written report, I hope, which um, runs through the, the delegation's visit. As we know, it was a delegation that took place under difficult circumstances because... Um, the Parliament was refused um, the ability to go to the CAIEP meeting. As it turned out, um, we went feeling that this was uh, quite an affront, but it became clear that uh, the CAIEP meeting is very much a technical meeting. And therefore, um, the fact that we were not involved in the plenary sessions of that meeting in the end, and thanks to the great work done by our team from uh, the Secretariat and also from the Commission uh, representation in Montreal, we were able, I think, to make some very significant, um, some very significant advances during our couple of days there. Uh, what we did was we, we had a series of bilateral meetings outside of the official CAIAP meetings, but taking advantage of the fact that there were um, obviously a lot of uh, very uh, knowledgeable and uh, very important people there, the people that we would need to talk to about um, the market mechanism. So we, we had um, initially some meetings with um, the NGOs, which was useful, all together. We had meetings with various other organizations, including the airport authority groupings, including the airlines under their IATA um, umbrella. And then we went on to bilaterals with uh, different countries, with one or two significant uh, missing, most significantly being the Chinese, that we, we were not able to, to, to meet with because they had been partly, I think, because it was Chinese New Year, um, and certainly that was the reason given. Um, and that was a shame because uh, the Chinese obviously are very key to this, so we can't give any flavour of, of their views. But we were able to meet uh, with other partners, most significantly the EU member states. Um, we met with them separately and together. Uh, and I think that was very useful because... Um, it's clear that we will be working with them uh, at the next meeting and indeed at the assembly. So it was very useful to get their views. Um, it was also useful to meet with the host nation with Canada because, as we know, they, they have um, a useful insight, um, particularly into the U.S. Um, we met with the U.S., although I would say we didn't uh, find out too much there. So it was all... The way in which the, the visit started was not was not good. We, did, we felt there was a bit of a cloud. But I think that we ended, actually, on, on quite a high note in so far as we got our message across very clearly. Um, but we had to be very careful that we didn't put our message in such a way as it was a repeat performance of what so many of the people we met told us was a bit of a car crash when um, we spoke about... Um, the stop the clock and the snapback at the end of this year. So it was a very delicate issue about making sure that 
that uh, everyone we spoke to understood that imperative for us, but that we were not holding a huge, great, big hammer over their heads, insisting that the European way is the only way. Uh, in other words, so I think we all felt like we were being called upon to be diplomats rather than politicians, which is quite an unusual position to be in. Um, we were able to meet with the president uh, of ICAO, and, and I personally felt that that was a very illuminating um, meeting. He certainly, I think, has made it a personal goal to achieve at September a mechanism and they were indeed very pleased with their carbon, that the carbon um, targets that they had managed to achieve. I think perhaps we thought they were less significant in terms of what they actually said, but significant in terms of the fact that they'd actually reached an agreement. So we were very pleased about that. We congratulated them on that. We um, made the point that we would like to attend the next meeting in uh, May and secured from the President um, his commitment that he would certainly not object to the Parliament being part of the EU delegation at uh, the May meeting. So I think if nothing else, that would, we could say that that was uh, the achievement of, of, the, um, of the two days. Um, I hope that's, sorry, that's just off the cuff without my notes, so I hope that's okay. If uh, any questions, please ask me. Thank you very much for your uh, effort to remember <laughs> what happened during the mission. Uh, I don't know if we have our colleagues who take part to the, uh, to the um, Mr. Bellet. Yes, uh, thanks, uh, Chairman, and uh, just to um, support what uh, Mrs. Gerling uh, has excellently, how she has excellently briefed us and uh, congratulate uh, her as. Uh, having been chaired this, um, this uh, mission in an excellent way, really. Uh, congratulations also to the Secretariat, because this was not an easy exercise. We are very much aware of that, and we had a very, very interesting program, so thanks very much for that. And congratulations also to European Commission Services, uh, because we had a very good collaboration with them uh, over there. Um, Julie already referred to the, the standard CO2 standard that has been adopted while we were there, which is, of course, uh, progress. But at the same time, we have to recognize that this is not or was not and is not an overly ambitious decision that has been taken. So uh, I hope it will be reviewed in, 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 in the medium term. And the second important element uh, that has already been mentioned by uh, Mrs. Gerling is the global market-based mechanism that they are developing now and that hopefully will be adopted in, in, in May and then rubber-stamped in, in, in September, October. Uh, we all know we have very mixed feelings with regard to what is now on the table at, uh, at ICAO uh, because it's not, we're not talking about uh, an ETS or an alternative ETS or whatever, we're just talking about uh, an offset mechanism, yeah, which is not bad, but which is not ETS, yeah. An offset mechanism that contains a lot of exemptions for a lot of states, a lot of countries, so which doesn't make us happy either. So in fact, the, the devil is in the detail, of course, but what is on the table is, yeah, uh, we have to treat it with mixed feelings, and uh, Julie referred to the stop the clock mechanism. That is, uh, time is running out before the end of the year, so uh, whereas we know that deviation on the basis of, Chairman, on the basis of the report, on the basis of the study that has been made by the European Parliament very recently, we know that deviation, international deviation, is going to be in the upcoming decades, between now and 2050, going, going to be one of the biggest emitters of CO2 uh, globally. So for the time being, not. For the time being, they are between 2 and 3 percent uh, of global emissions, but they, are, they will evolve towards 20, 30 percent. So it's clear that... Uh, uh, that the task that aviation, international aviation, will have to perform in the upcoming, uh, in the upcoming years has to, has to be much more important. And I hope this offset mechanism, at least this off offset mechanism, can be agreed upon, but this cannot be uh, an, an, an ending point, so we'll have to be more ambitious. And 
uh, we, we, we will be faced in this Parliament with a very, very difficult challenge with regard to the stop the clock mechanism and can we adopt, will we adopt such a mechanism which is far from ideal but which is a first step uh, if it is adopted and if we would like to adopt it here in the Parliament but it's too early to say, uh, of course, uh, a, a very, very, very uh, uh, quick uh, review mechanism will have to be will have to be included. Uh, I think that will be the only way to uh, for us to to be able to adopt so to agree to such a mechanism. But debate will will have to start in the parliament, and uh, we'll see how we evolve uh, before the end of the year. Thanks very much. Thank you to you and uh, other colleagues. Thank you, Chair. Thanks to the colleagues um, who've done the uh, work. It was a difficult delegation. It wasn't clear whether there would be uh, interesting uh, discussions or not. The responsible, the authorities of ICAO initially didn't want to receive the representatives of the EP. So thanks to the colleagues for having gone there nevertheless. And it's good that there were meaningful meetings. The aim that we all have is to find a worldwide solution to GHG emissions of uh, aeroplanes. Unfortunately, though, we need to admit that it, it's always very slow. This type of international climate negotiation is very slow. And to be honest, Paris even that uh, wasn't terrific in terms of its outcome. It's just a first step, really. And with ICAO, it's even more, even slower uh, than in general uh, with regard to international climate negotiations. But the aim there is from 2020 to have CO2 neutral growth. And what that means is that there's absolutely no talk about uh, reduction at all. That's the first problem. And particularly, that's particularly remarkable because the industry itself, IATA, has given itself the uh, goal of re reducing uh, its emissions by 50% by 2050. So that's a point. Uh, that needs to be raised with ACAO. Uh, the industry is more ambitious than ICAO itself. So this carbon neutral gro growth, that only exists on paper, really, because there won't be any actual reduction. There will, in fact, only be offsets. So the uh, airlines are going to pay um, for their emissions. So there won't be a total emission all around. And so the authorities in ICAO are of the opinion that an agreement can only uh, be achieved if the carbon neutral growth goals are uh, watered down. So there are particular lines between industrialized countries, such as, for example, between Europe and the USA, uh, from which, which in, in deal with this aim of 2021. Uh, and other, they're going to involve other countries, such as China, only after 2024, so there's going to be a similar system there with China by then. So that's an additional problem. And in Paris, we've got an agreement, agreement involving the UNFCCC, uh, according to which if uh, China and other uh, BRICS-type uh, countries uh, get involved, then the industrialized countries need to... Uh, lift their game even further. So the, this would allow China to increase its um, emissions over a time, and other countries would then need to compensate for that. So there's no carbon neutral growth here in any of this. And so as a result, 
it's important players are going to uh, put in an even uh, worse performance, as it were, make even lower a lower uh, goal. So to ask the uh, Commission, if it's, there, if it's here, and to the uh, member states who negotiate directly with the KO, uh, to put a mechanism in place, such uh, in, in, in Paris, that would um, sharpen the goals. So there won't be an agreement that will be ready for rat ratification. No, there's just political commitments here that will be worked on, so there's nothing concrete there. And so we need to uh, revise uh, that so that industry at least uh, reduces its emissions by 50% by 2050. Uh, what we need to look at in the short term is the, the um, flights within the European Union uh, we wanted to get a system up and running, we do want to get a system up and running, approved by the Parliament and the Council, that all um, flights within uh, Europe, that, that's, that uh, take off or land within Europe subject to ETS, but at the moment that only applies to flights that um, are totally within Europe. So that doesn't include intercontinental flights. And with, for these flights here, within Europe, uh, it's a very modest uh, goal. It's of uh, 10%. In other sectors, such as the steel uh, industry, they have um, higher, set high, higher goals. Now, I know the airline uh, industry has difficulties, but still, the steel industry is in an existential crisis and they want to uh, reduce their emissions by 43%. Now, the ETS uh, for the non-carbon leakage sector, there's an option there of 100%. And for the airline industry, it's 15%. And that's a discrepancy we really need to look at. There will no doubt be a new commission proposal uh, uh, in the autumn and we need to put that together with uh, this uh, report to make sure that all of the different sectors are handled in a fair way. There's a discussion about carbon le leakage in the uh, airline uh, industry. You can fly to the USA via uh, London, uh, and you can also... But the carbon leakage problem with steel and other energy-intensive uh, products is greater. It's, it's bigger. Every tonne of steel in Europe can be substituted by imports, and that's what is happening, unfortunately. But a flight from London to Athens or from Paris, Paris to Rome cannot be substituted with a flight from Shanghai to Peking. So that's the question we need to look at more closely and weigh up what we will do, we are to do with intercontinental flights. We don't want to place the international process in danger, but we don't want to create the impression that any solution is okay for us, even if it's not good for the climate. So that's a really tough process that we have before us in the autumn, in the coming uh, autumn here in Parliament. Thank you. Yeah, ich möchte mich auch noch mal bedanken bei den Kollegen. I'd also like to thank the colleagues who were on the ICAO delegation. It was a mission impossible, you could say, but from what I hear, uh, what Julie, uh, Julie Gerling has uh, uh, done a very good job and managed to get some significant discussions uh, going, so we need, in, in any case, to stay on the ball, um, and it's particularly important that we continue working on this, even if the Commission is not showing a lot of enthusiasm. We need to, uh, we are lawmakers. We have to do our work and look after the uh, citizens, and then we have to get the uh, message across to the citizens about what we want to do as well. Carbon leakage. Uh, and colleagues just spoke about that. That's an important question, and it's important that we have a strategy where we make it clear that there's not just one sector or two sectors uh, that play a particular role. No, uh, there are other areas, the steel uh, industry and so forth. These are also subject to uh, international competition, and we need to spread the burden. And so as Parliament, 
we I hope that we'll be able to come up with a reasonable compromise, a workable compromise, and that that will be supported uh, with a, an important uh, majority. Uh, we don't a narrow majority, just uh, not something we want to see here. We want to show clearly that we are serious about climate change, and all sectors need to uh, play their role. I know that it's difficult at international level, but if we're lenient with the airline industry, I won't be able to sell the idea to the steel industry, the cement sector. All of these uh, sectors are subject to international um, competition and they all need to be treated in an equal manner. And we've decided that we want to uh, organize a new meeting with the ICAO, with the Parliament. And in any case, I'd like to thank the colleagues for their work. And we need to organize a strong compromise with strong uh, support. And then we'll be heard. Thank you very much. I don't know if other colleagues want to take the floor. No? Okay. We can, we can close here the point and we can go to the next point that is the last one for today. It is an exchange of view with the European Commission on the health care for refugees. Uh, and uh, uh, as we remember, there was uh, a request from a political group. Uh, and uh, now we can uh, start giving the floor to the Commission. And I thank uh, the Commission to be here also today. And uh, we can start giving the floor to the Commission for uh, an introductory statement. And then later we can start the discussion among the members. Uh, Ms. Uh, Isabel de la Mata Barranco, the floor is yours, please. Thank you very much. Since uh, the, uh, the beginning of this uh, extraordinary situation with the influx of uh, migrants and refugees, the European Commission has been acting in all the fronts, including in health. The General Directorate for Health and Food Safety is coordinating the health activities in the Health Security Committee, collecting the needs and requests of member states for health supplies, including vaccines, evaluating possibilities of joint procurement, reinforcing the surveillance of communicable diseases via the early warning and response system jointly with the ECDC, connecting the health national contact points with national contact points in charge of civil protection and asylum migration and integration funds, and ensuring consistency of the communication messages regarding health situation of the refugees. We contribute to a better understanding of the fact that the extraordinary influx of migrants and refugees is not a threat for public health, neither for people arriving, not for the European Union population. To monitor potential threats, we use the surveillance system of diseases and are ready to take immediate measures if special needs are detected. Jointly with the International Organization for Migration and the European Center for Disease Control and Prevention, we prepare a single unified instrument for the assessment of the health status of refugees and migrants, the personal health record, which also helps reconstruct individuals' medical history and is available in English and Arabic. And an accompanying handbook, handbook for health professionals exists in English, French, German, Greek, Italian, Bulgarian, Romanian, Slovenian, Croatian, and Hungarian. The personal health record is currently piloted in Greece and will be extended initially to Italy, Slovenia, and Croatia. It will be available in paper and electronic version in order to ease the sharing of information with the destination country. We have devoted 7.2 million euros through an extraordinary call of the health program in order to help member states and the particularly migratory pressure deal with health-related challenges. One direct grant to International Organization of Migration and four additional projects uh, were funded for a period of 12 months beginning on 1st January 2016. And the projects are complementary and focused on immediate help in the field, protocols and clinical guidelines, training and coordination tools. We collaborate with the European Medical Corps, especially in the area of public health. 
In the long term, uh, DG Sante work focuses on integration. The work plan 2016 of the HAL program uh, will devote 7.5 million euro to activities on best practices on healthcare models for vulnerable migrants, integration of migrants in primary healthcare system, and paying special attention to mental health. The call for proposal was launched on 4 March, and before summer, a direct grant to World Health Organization and two tenders on training will be launched. For the training of health professionals, the existing training modules will be supplemented with those on communicable diseases and mental health. And training is foreseen for first-time professionals and border guards, and will focus on diseases that they are not familiar with, even if some of them are prevalent in Southern European Union countries, a non-cultural perspective and specific needs of the incoming population. Also, uh, we are participating in the blue card discussion as the European Union healthcare workforce is in need of additional workers and also many refugees and migrants and healthcare professionals that could be integrated in the European Union health system. So those are the summary of the activities that currently the Commission is uh, undertaking for the health care of uh, migrants and refugees. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I don't know if uh, we have a uh, question from our colleagues. Madame Berde. Thank you. Uh, I, I may have missed this, but did, did you... Um, did you mention how you keep families together? Because if somebody arrives and then they need hospital treatment uh, and others are moved on or um, uh, get separated, is there a system of, of keeping families in touch with each other when one maybe is in need of medical attention and others uh, in the family are, are uh, separated? Other colleagues? No? Please, Commission. Um, the European Commission is not in charge in, in that area. As you know, the healthcare um, organization 